What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're trying Manu Blue Belcher in Modern. So we've played Mono Red Char Belcher on this channel before. It's gone okay, so I'm not exactly sure what to expect from this deck. With our Mono Red list, you're usually looking to like turbo out Char Belcher. Here you can look to turbo it out with Lotus Bloom, but we also have a lot of disruption, so it's not necessarily the best thing to do with this deck. For Mono Blue Belcher, it's pretty much like a tempo control deck. So obviously we're not running any lands in our Char Belcher deck. I'm just going to go over the most important lands, the ones that you want to keep in your hand if you don't need to actually play them as a land. So Sink into Stupor, one of the newer cards. It's a 3 mana bounce or return effect, which is really useful. This is good against Pithing Needle or Card the Great Creator or just kind of anything to tempo the opponent out. We have Preordained for card selection. We also have sets of Falaji and Thundertrap Trainer. So both of these are looking for Goblin Char Belcher, or they help find lands, spells. They help get everything, so that's why these cards are amazing. That's one reason they're amazing. The other reason they're really good is because we're running four Flare of Denial. So some good sequencing would be to play this out, we get a spell. We have Flare of Denial, we can sacrifice the Falaji or the Thundertrap, counter any spell, and just get really good value that way. Because we're a Mana Blue deck, we're obviously running four Counter Spell and four Harbinger of the Seas. So this is a nice cheesy card. You don't have to run this in the main. There are lists that run it in the side and bring it in against like Tron, Amulet, anything to mess with opponent's mana base. Our last free spell is Disrupting Shoal. This is a card I find myself cutting a lot. It is another free counter spell, but it's kind of like an awkward force of negation sometimes. For the sideboard, we have four Contend to Memory. This is good for colorless decks and triggered abilities. Into the Flood Maw. I like to bring this card in a lot. It just bounces problematic permanence. It can slow the game down if you can bounce a creature. We have two Unable to Scream, three Mystical Disputes for Control Mirrors, Commandeer for, again, Control Mirrors or for Ring Decks, most likely, Fluster Storm for Instants and Sorceries, and then one Tamiya for the Control Matchup. So that is Blue Belcher in Modern. And just as a reminder, we are part of the MTGO Creator Program now, so we have lots of play points to give away to all our subs. And we're almost at 2,000 subscribers, so if you're not subscribed, it's a free way to help out the channel. So if you want to see more content like this, you want to win some play points, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and let's get in the gameplay. Alright, welcome to match one, we're on the play. And this hand seems fine, we just have a little bit of everything. No Char Belcher, but we have some Dig, some Counter Spell, so we'll keep this. Alright, we're gonna bolt in this land. Start with the Preordain. Decent hits. They're creatures that we do want to cast for Flare of the Nile. We don't have another untapped land, unfortunately, though. So maybe that's a reason to start off on a tap land. Let's go top, or bottom top. We'll draw that and we'll pass. Maybe there's no rush to Preordain there. Steam Vents, untapped. Otherworldly Gaze. So this is Dredge. They hit one Creeping Chill. So at least we have Disrupting Shoal. We can pitch Durari. Well, we bottom this and then we draw it again. All right, so let's play that tapped. We'll pass there. And then we can just Shoal pitching. Probably, not sure which what, what we want to pitch. Tome Scour. Okay. Still no, no, uh, what's it called? They have a lot in the yard though. A lot of Dredgers. All right, they pass back. Lotus Bloom. A little late. We can play Falaji. Lotus Bloom or Preordain. Take Preordain. Play this tapped. Pass. We still have Shoal, Counterspell up. We have Flare of Denial. So no Cathartic yet. So they Dredge, Creeping Chill. Down to 11. If we're able to just Char Belcher at any point, it's a free win. They crack Scalding Tarn for Blood Crypt. Hard cast Stinkweed. I guess we're not going to counter that. We like to see that though. That's, a, that's good for us. But then Ghoul comes back into play. Lotus Bloom on Suspend. We're under a lot of pressure, so we need to find some stuff quickly. Bottom, bottom. Another counter spell. Play this tapped. All right, let's play out Thunder Trap. Looking for a Char Belcher. Still no Char Belcher, but we will take, I guess, Flare. It's pretty awkward here. Like, we're probably going to block here to save life. They mill over a lot. So we'll chump here. Take one. All right, we'll counter that. Come on, Char Belcher. Lotus Bloom has one more turn. Oh my god, another Lotus Bloom. Okay. And we'll pass. Kind of floundering here. That is the downside of this deck, is if you don't draw what you need to draw, you just uh, obviously lose. And this is technically, I would say this is a tougher matchup just because the dredging part, we can't counter anything like that. Everything just comes back. But there will be some things, like the important stuff that we can counter. Like whatever they're casting here. Oh, the ox. Yeah, we're going to counter the ox. Easy counter spell. But what sucks is it's, very, it's reoccurring, so they can just get it back next turn. They can try again. If we draw Char Belcher, we just straight up win, though. Cast Thunder Trap. We will cast that. There it is, Char Belcher. So we'll cast that now, and then next turn we just win. We have Flare Up. We have Shoal with Counter Spell. They hit Double Narc Amoeba. It's not really going to matter. None of this matters. But again, this is why it's tough, because you can't counter these. Uh, the Prize Amalgam triggers. 
We don't even have anything for the sideboard for, like, anti-graveyard. Just gotta hope to be faster. All right, all the prize amalgams. They've used two creeping chills, so they could put us to three if they really wanted to. We're gonna counter this ox, though. All right, counter the ox. Flare of Denial looking insane, and they scoop. All right, so against Dredge, I guess we'll take, like, a Fluster Storm just to counter all their, uh, like, Cathartic Reunion potential. Nothing else is really good here. Like, maybe they bring in some Artifact Hate for Charbelcher, so, so we'll play around that. I think we're actually just going to run it back. Let's just run it back. We'll think about it game three if it gets to that. So we have a bunch of lands and a Preordain. No one tap lands either. I'm going to mulligan this one. All right, we will keep this. We have three lands, Preordain, Harbinger. Keep. Harbinger can be cheesy, so I don't mind keeping that. Falaji. We're going to lead off on a tap land, though. Hopefully it's not too slow against Dredge. Especially if they go, like, turn two cathartic. Oh, they surveil a ghoul into the yard. Flare of Denial. All right, we'll play this tapped and pass. If we were on the play, I'd consider playing this tapped. Shock this in and hold up Drari. All right, so no, no cathartic. That's good for us. They put an Amalgam, Stinkweed. Wow, they're hitting really well here. Another Flare. So we could shock this in, play Falaji, and have Flare up. I think I like that. Another play would be to play this tapped, play Preordain. Let's take Disrupting Shoal and pass. So we have two counters now. They crack Tarn for a Blood Crypt. Yeah, if we can get Harbinger down, it will make things kind of awkward for them. But obviously they can just dredge and win, so they don't need mana like that. So now they get the Creeping Chill, the Narc Amoeba, Prize Amalgam, and the Ghoul. We're going to counter this. I don't want them getting more things. Because they could surveil three is huge for them. All right, end of turn, they get both of these back. Yeah, Harbinger's not even that good in this matchup, but it's something. Draw a counter spell. That's Preordain. We kind of need both of these, which sucks. Um, we'll top, top, play this tapped, and pass. So we're going to take seven. I think we just lose. There's like, we're not beating this pressure, and we're drawing absolutely nothing. Yeah, we can't do anything about that. We'll have a lot more uh, potential on the play. Yeah, they hit Creeping Chill. Put us down to four. Yeah, we'll scoop to that. All right. On the play this time, is there anything we want? Like, I don't think countering their, like, one mana spells is, is the play. All right, let's just run it back. Gotta be faster. On the play. But, like, not with these hands, though. Like, turn one, a flare. We just don't have any dig, don't have anything. We got a mulligan. Oh, man. This is a no lander with... That sucks. Really good otherwise, but no. All right, we'll have to keep this. Keep. Put back counter spell. Counter spell? Pretty awkward. So we can suspend here, play this tapped, next turn preordain, find another land, and just kind of try to win from there. Play that tapped, suspend, and pass. Really awkward hands, not the greatest. And they go island go, so they probably have otherworldly. Living or Lotus Bloom on suspend, disrupting shoal, play preordain. Okay, these are the lands. We're gonna need both of these. Play this tapped, and we organize it, or we. Put it that way, so we play this tapped, don't take life. Next turn we draw the tap land, play that tapped, play out Falaji, have this with Falaji. Except we're probably going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to show this. Oh no. Oh no, I clicked. Oh crap. Alright, well, alright. Alright, match two on the play. Hmm, this is a one lander with Lotus Bloom. Really high upsides, I think. We'll keep it. It's a one lander with Lotus Bloom and just kind of a lot of action. So we'll play this tapped, suspend, and pass. So we need an untapped source. We can play Thunder Trap, have Flare of Denial open, Undercity Sewers, looks like Murktide. Draw the Force, not what we want. We have some time against Murktide, so it's not the biggest deal. Gloom Lake Verge, well that's not good. This will just solo us. All right, Lotus Boom on suspend. We draw another land, we don't. We send it back. Definitely a greedy keep, obviously, right? They're just going to pump the frog. Hit us for four. Their hand was nuts, though. I feel like we're not beating this hand regardless. That is for five. And they preordain. Probably should have just forced that, to be honest. One top, one bottom. Play out a war, pass. Do we draw a land? Off suspend. We don't draw a land. Play Falaji. They spell snare. Cast counter spell. Falaji is good. We find the char belcher, but we're still stuck on one land. All right, I'm just going to scoop this one. Greedy keep. Got punished. So against Murktide. We want this, 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 this. You can cheese them out with Harbingers, but it's not ideal. Four out there, there. Probably one Shoal. Flood Maul can be good. It can hit the Murktides. It can kind of slow things down. I kind of like that. Let me try that. All right, on the play. All right, this hand's good. We have lands. Have early interaction. Totally fine with this. We'll bolt this in. Play Tamiyo. 
Usually they board out like fatal pushes and stuff, so Tamiyo can get there. Scalding Tarn. Unless they just like push. Okay, preordain. Sure. Two bottom. Alright, let's attack. Make a clue. We will cast preordain. Cast preordain into the flood maw. I'll keep that on top. I don't mind uh, taking it slow. Play that tapped and pass. Under city sewers. They keep it on top and just pass again. Mystical dispute's a good draw actually. I'll attack. Make a clue. No one tap land is a little unfortunate, but it's fine. Play this tapped and pass. I don't mind holding up Fluster and Dispute, getting a lot of value with the clue tokens. They play Delta, crack it for an island. I don't mind disputing that. You could let that go and just Flood Maul it, but we can do that for like the next Mark Tide or something. Seagate. All right, let's attack. Make another clue. We're going to bolt this in. Play Thunder Trap Trainer. See if they want to like Spell Snare that. I feel like we have to let that go if they do Spell, if they do spell Snare it, but they don't. Take a Preordain. Or you will cast Preordain. Good value here. Two good cards. We'll top both and then just pass. Delta. I mean, maybe they have like a big Merc Tide. They shock in that. Another frog. They might just have like frog, hold up, whatever. We could Flood Maul here. I'm going to wait though. Play this tapped. Attack with Tamiyo. All right, they get the frog flying. Sure. They go to blocks. I wonder if they're going to try to eat this. We like seeing this though because we can just bounce this. We could also draw twice, but that plays into uh, Bow Masters. All right, so they just... Pump it once for, um, I guess because Bowmasters, uh, that's fine. So we'll play into it. So we could bounce Tamiya. We could bounce this. Oh, we can't bounce our stuff. Yeah, that's fine. So we're going to bottom, bottom. That'll trigger that. That's fine. All right, and then we'll pass. Next turn, we're going to, I guess, Belcher, hold up Fluster. They give that flying. All right, we're going to bounce this. Oh, they force it. Do we want to fluster that or do we just want to let that go? I think we just let that go and then we will do it again. Because if we fluster that, it does resolve, but then we don't have fluster for Charbelcher. Take two. I'm going to keep this for flare. Cast Charbelcher. Do they have consign? And that's why we kept fluster up. Look at us being smart. So they might have another consign for this, but we'll see. I will right, pass. It sucks we weren't able to use these clue tokens though. It would be nice if we had a... We draw another counter spell. Take two, and they scoop. <laughs> All right, any other changes? Again, the Harbingers can be good, but they're kind of cheesy. I don't know. Doesn't look like they're playing Swamps, so it would keep them off black, but then we'd have to figure out like what, what we're bringing them in for. Maybe like Force Out for one. Try that, bring in two, just see. Because it's a must counter for them if they want to keep black. All right, we have Charbelcher, Lands, Counter Spells, not the worst. They shock in watery grave. Draw another counter spell. Play this tapped. Pass. We could shock in. Maybe we should shock in and hold up dispute for frog. Yeah, they always have frog, man. Yeah, maybe that was the, that was the play right there. That was kind of a mistake. Tamio. Play that. We'll shock that in and pass. Scalding Tarn. If they want to discard their hand, how much do we care about that? We're gonna block. If they want to discard their hand, that's fine. They have to discard two cards to kill Tamio. And we're not really drawing, we haven't really been drawing cards with this, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. And Narset. All right, Tamio down. But we definitely should have bolted in the land for dispute. Uh, another frog. Yeah, I don't, I feel like we're not, they have triple frog. I feel like we're, not, we're never beating this hand into Spell Pierce. Yeah. We're just like not beating this hand. Trainer. Cast that. Take a Preordain. We could bolt this in and cast Preordain. Because next turn we're going to want to, yeah, let's bolt this in. Because we're going to, we want to find a uh, flare. All right. Bottom, bottom. Dispute is decent. We want a free spell though. That's the only awkward thing. So they can only give one of these flying so we can just chump here, I guess. And give them like one turn to uh, draw a forward and play a land. I mean, the last card could be a counter spell and then we just play into it turn four, which sucks. They crack delta. One, two, three. So they can give both of these flying and draw two cards. It's brutal. Take four. Do we think they drew a counter spell? I don't think we have like time to, uh, no, we don't even have time. Three, because they can discard three, put this a six, seven. Yeah, we don't have time. We're just going to jam it. If they have it, then we just lose. Not beating these hands. All right, we're going to match three on the play. I mean, this hand is all tap lands, some dig, some counters. We'll try it. Being on the play, we don't, we can kind of get away with the tap lands, I think. All right, we'll play this tapped and pass. Blooming Marsh, Inquisition. So this could be Yogg, this could be a couple decks. So if they take Preordain, they take Force Negation. Okay. We draw Char Belcher, it's pretty cool. Lead off on a Preordain. I 
Don't want any of these, honestly. I don't want creatures right now. Play this tapped. Pass. I just want to get to four mana as soon as possible. Oh, it's Lantern. Nice. Do they have the Codex Shredder? No, just double Lantern. All right, so we don't have to care about our life total as much, which is nice. I'm going to shock this in and just pass. It kind of sucks that we have to hold up Counterspell for this Thoughtseize. And Graph Tigger's Cage. Underworld Cookbook. Thoughtseize. Counter. I just realized, too, I don't know why we shocked in the one land for Stupor. We could have just uh, played a tap land there. Play out Belcher. Make them have it. This is a tough matchup. They can just needle Char Belcher. So we have a couple things that we need to bring in. They're sacking, uh, they're sacking lanterns trying to find anything. Because they know that they're dead unless they find needle. Yep. All right. Against lantern control, we have consigned a memory uh, into the flood mall. Maybe even commandeer. Maybe. Not, I mean, I don't even think we have room for commandeer, but I definitely want these six. Harbinger is good against sagas. Force is good. I think shoal is medium. Four for four there. And then these two will come in for... I like Falaji and Thunder Trap because it messes with their actual lantern effects. I think counter spells kind of weak-ish. All right, game two, and this hand looks solid. We have early ramp, some dig, some lands. We'll keep no untapped lands, but that's fine. Oh, they lead off on our Urza Saga, so this will most likely get Needle for Charbelcher. So we'll suspend, play this tapped, and pass. We could play this untapped and play Preordain, but I want to get our lands down. Especially, I mean, if they're going to Inquisition, oh, they take the Sink into Stupor, which also hits the Needle as well. We draw another one. Love it. So let's preordain. I want both of these. Top. Play this tapped. Pass. I like that they played this first too, because then we don't have to worry about the constructs. Um, but they are going to get a needle. And there it is. Goblin, Charbelcher. They also didn't float the mana. So we can sink into stupor that whenever we want also. Ancient Stirrings, Finds, Pixis. So they can play that now. They can actually Pixis our, our uh, Flare, which is fine. Lotus on Suspend. We draw another Charbelcher. So we'll play this tapped, play out, Thunder Trap. Maybe we can find another Flare. Consign or Flood Maul. What do we want? I mean, next turn we're going to cast Lotus Bloom and just win with Charbelcher. So maybe we just... Well, I guess we can't win here. We'll take Flood Maul because we're going to have to bounce this. Ours is Saga. Two mana. Oh, Collect Brutality. Sure. Yeah, I wish we had a Flare for that. So they get to take either Sink or Flood Maul. Probably going to take Sync because that's our fourth land. Oh, they take Flood Maul. Okay. They have one black open. They pick us. Lotus Bloom comes off Suspend. We cast that. We draw Consign. That's pretty good. So we have to bounce this. So this is kind of awkward. I think we have to play Char Belcher. Pass. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be pretty awkward because they're going to get another Needle with this. Oh my god. They sink into... They uh, extirpate Sync into Super. That's so awkward. Yeah, I'm not sure what we do there. I Like, we need a land. I guess we probably should phalogy. Yeah, we should have phalogy That was stupid. Yeah, we should have just phalogy there. I don't know what I was thinking. Play Mycosynth. I would take a Harbinger. Counterspell. Play phalogy Take a Counterspell. Really awkward here. Now they make Constructs. Yeah, our hand just, like, didn't work out. And them drawing Double Saga really hurts us. Because they get free access to Needle. Now we're just going to get beat down. I'd imagine they get a second Needle. They might try to get a lantern here. Okay, no, they just played safe. Yeah, we'll we'll scoop to that. All right, let's try again. We had a really good starting hand, and then it just kind of fell apart. All right, on the play. One lander with preordain. Suspend lotus. I'm going to keep. Just because we have preordain. Bolt this in. Cast preordain. Oh, God. We want all of these, but we can't. We need lands. Okay, we draw the land. Suspend and pass. And I guess if they have disruption, we're going to have to force it. Or as a saga again. We'll force that. The deck usually runs three needles, and they used one. They can get another with uh, Urza Saga. Draw Disruption. Play this tap to pass. I mean, maybe we should have mauled two Harbinger, but then if they just thought seize it, we're still screwed. Why don't they just keep like a one lander? Lantern. Extra bait. They kept a one lander because of uh, Needle Saga. Okay, they did not. Their hands have been really good. And if this is hand disrupt, yeah, like their hand is really, really good. All right, they pass. We draw that. There's Harbinger. I mean, we're going to cast that because Harbinger is like not good anymore. We would have needed it like right now. Yeah, we're not we're not drawing anything well. Seagate. All right, they needle Charbelcher. Play Pixis. I mean, I guess the Harbinger might have stabilized. There's Charbelcher. We'll cast that. And we would win if uh, this wasn't... So we'll just cast it. Now we just need to find a bounce effect for the uh, needle. All right, they did that. They copied needle. That doesn't work, unfortunately. 
So now they're down a land. They can Inquisition Arjavari if they want. And we just need to find uh, something for a Tri-Belcher. Oh, they find another land, so good for them. Sink into Stupor. I'm just going to cast this. Maybe they probably picks it away. No, they didn't. They must have more uh, hand disruption. Flare. Yeah, they have to have like a Thought Seize or Inquisition. Oh my god, this is Inquisition on top. Oh, Flood Ball is really good. All right, so we can't do this now because it costs two mana and three to activate. I mean, I guess we can just... I guess we just do this, right? Oh, it still costs one. Oh, my bad. Still costs one, but they just get the fish regardless. For some reason, I was thinking it costs two. So we'll Char Belcher them. Yeah, opponent was confused that... The, they thought the gardens copied Needle's name, but it just copies the actual thing. So somehow we pulled it off, even with our very lackluster draw. The crack spell bomb. All right, we got one. All right, welcome to match four on the play against Ilduendo, our favorite person. And I guess we'll keep this. We have suspend, harbinger, counterspell. I don't know. It's like fine, right? If they're on an aggro deck like they usually are, we're definitely gonna. I guess play the tap land and to double Lotus Bloom. It's kind of a weak hand because we don't have any creatures, but we can hope to get there with... Uh... All right, we'll start off with double suspend into Drawry tapped and pass. Next turn, we can shock in one of these, hold up counterspell, planes, shadow spear, even colored letters. I don't know what that means. Okay. Auto yield on these. Preordain's a good one. Lead off on that. Bottom, top, shock this in, play preordain, bottom... Top and pass. Planes makes Harbinger not as good unless they play like a Saga this turn. They choose not. Okay, they play a tapped. All right, Aether Vial. Hmm. A lot going on there. Seagate. Play out Falaji. Looking for Char Belcher. We found one. Nice. Play this tapped and pass. So we win next turn if uh, there's no disruption. But we do have Counterspell if there is. If like next turn. Skyclave. Okay, don't care about that. But we have to definitely worry about that for games two and three, potentially. For like a naked Charbelcher. And they have a vial on one, which we can't counterspell anything. Cast that one. Cast that. Drop Preordain. Cast Charbelcher. Okay, and we get there. Cool. So this is like mono white taxes, which it's going to be land destruction, which is really good against our deck because they're going to have like Field of Ruin and stuff. So Flood Mall's going to be, or uh, well, Flood Moon's going to be really good against them. I guess we'll play into the Flood Mall instead of... What can we take out? I think Forces aren't... Forces isn't going to be very good. Play that, play that. Maybe like a Shoal out and try that. All right, so we have Lotus Bloom, some land, some interaction. We'll keep this. Plains, Aether Vial. It's tempting to uh, Shoal that, honestly, but we'll see. Suspend, play this tapped, and pass. Maybe it will eventually bounce us. Yeah, like, like this. This is the uh, issue. All right, we're going to have to... Just counter it. Yeah, this deck like counters our deck, which is pretty crazy. Lotus Bloom on Suspend. Flare Denial. That would have been really good if we had a creature, but we don't. So we're just going to play this tapped and pass. But yeah, if the, if the Orchid Phantom resolves, we have nothing. Flicker Wisp. Oh my god. Yeah, again, their deck just counters our deck. No. Yep, yep, yep. Lotus Bloom on Suspend. Bayin Veil. Play this tapped and pass. Really hoping for no, no more uh, like Phantoms or anything like that. All right, so they play, they bring in Velia, which this can target this and bring that back and then just flicker our lands and constantly kill us. So we're going to have to bounce this. Oh my god, they have something else? No. Oh no. All right, all right. Jesus. I said this deck murders every deck I play. Just beats up on Tron, beats up on no lands. I wonder if we want consigns for... Do we want consigns for some stuff? Maybe? Let's take out Counterspell for Consign. Try that on the play. Yeah, Death and Taxes just wrecks us. All right, we'll keep this. It's a one lander with Preordain, but double Lotus Bloom. So that way it doesn't really affect our lands as much. As long as they don't like plot and get rid of all this stuff. Suspend, suspend, shock that in, bolt that in, Consign. Do we want both of these? Consign, I think we do. Top, too many temples, K Command. All right, we'll send it back. And if we can pull this one out, I'd be very happy. Just if we can get a Harbinger out. I'd love to see a Harbinger. Solitude. Lotus Blooms. And right, there's the Consign. We're going to shock this in and just pass. I think because if they, if they play Failure, I don't know if we should. I don't know if that's playing too scared. Maybe we just do this and get a land or something. Oh my god, they have Ghost Quarter. But because we have Lotus Blooms, maybe... Oh uh, yeah. Say we have Lotus... Six, seven, eight. Okay. So we draw the Char Belcher, so we just win next turn. 
Which we should have. Oh, there's yeah, there's failure. That's good. Luckily, they didn't ghost quarter us. But yeah, maybe we should have been playing these just to make more land drops. But then we don't have consign for if they do something weird. They ghost quarter their own land to get a white. Uh, so they're missing double white. Okay, that's fine. We can consign that. So they will get to kill one of these, but at least we get to save one. And we only need seven mana next turn. No. All right. Cast. I can't believe we're going to pull this one off. That's what I'm saying. You need these Lotus Bloom draws and we draw the land, which is nice. Cast draw Belcher. Phew. That was an interesting one. We got lucky they got mana screwed, but again, really impossible matchup otherwise. All right. Welcome to the final match on the play. This hand seems fine. We have force for early interaction. We have a creature for flare of denial and we have some dig with Falaji. So we're going to keep. Lay it off on a tap land and pass. It's crazy we haven't cast any Harbingers this ga this uh, entire league. Like, that's the one card I've been wanting to cast. They just go Flooded Strand, go. We draw the Charbelcher, which is nice. If we can get Flare, we just need mana. All right, they don't counter this if they have it. Lotus Bloom on Suspend or Land Drops. Hmm. I like Lotus Bloom here because we can um, Suspend here, and the next turn we can actually make a Land Drop. We can cast one of these and actually make a Land Drop since we already did. The Crack Flooded Strand for a Surveil Land. Thundering Falls. Mystic Gate. So this is just guy Control. Control is a potentially tough matchup. We have the Flare at least. Lotus Bloom on Suspend. Terrari. Let's cast Thunder Trap. I feel like these are awkward cards for them to count. If they want to like counterspell these, I'm totally fine with that. They let that go. Uh, there's the Harbingers. Take a Shoal. Make her land drop. They're just going to surveil with this as well. Maybe they like Flage or something. We want them to tap out for a ring so that way we can just force it. Yep, there's the other surveil land. As long as they don't put a Flage in the yard. Wait, they just put a Flage in the yard. Come on. The value. Another Scalding Tarn. Pass as usual. So they're definitely sitting on reactive spells. Preordain. Get it for one. Lead off on a Preordain. Just looking for a lot of counter spells, like a lot of flares. Sink into Stupor, Thunder Trap. Uh, ta bottom. Cast Falaji. We want like a lot of, just a lot of action. Charbelchers, counters. We kind of want to force this through, to be honest. Take a Preordain. Shock that in. Cast Preordain. Hmm. But we want both of these? Because they're just going to have like straight up counter spells, right? Because we can double Shoal. I guess we don't need... We'll top that one. So we, that'll just be like Shoal for a counter spell here. We'll draw another blue card. I don't know. We'll see. Fiend's Tower. They can't tap out for the ring here. If they do, they lose. But they might not have a choice. They shock that in. Yep. Just nothing. Okay. Maybe they counter this, which would be hilarious. I feel like they're going to try to counter the payoff. Seagate. So let's see, three, four, five. So if we shock this in, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have one counter spell covered. They might have force as well. So they might have like three counter spells. So like one, I think we should be fine. Let's see. So we cast it here. Then we have, we have one counter spell covered. Free one if we need. Yeah, I think we're fine. Cast Charbelcher. There's counter spell. So we'll show that one. They double counter spell. Flare that one. Jeez, this is so stupid. There's all the free counter spells. Does that resolve? It does. Hey, you for a million. All right, cool. All right, so against Jeskai Control, we definitely want Disputes, Commandeers, Tamiyo. Force can come out. I think Shoals too. Just because we're bringing in more counter spells, we don't want to go like crazy in Shoals. It's just net negative. Uh, we'll keep the Harbingers in. It makes things awkward for them. Maybe like one Lotus Bloom out. We don't have to go like too, too hard. All right, this is a pretty solid hand. We have counter spells, Harbingers. Dispute, Belcher. They go tap land, go. Yeah, if we can land a uh, Harbinger, that'd be pretty sick. Just cheese him out. Bane Veil. Play that tapped. We have our untapped lands here. Aired Mesa. I mean, they could fetch basics, I guess, which is annoying. So let's preordain. Two lands. I don't think we have we have land. We have three more lands. We, these can go to the bottom. Common Deer. Oh, I like that. I'll shock that in and pass. So we have Dispute up, Common Deer up. We would love to commandeer one ring. All right, they get Mystical Archive or Meticulous Archive. So we would love for them to either tap out for something with really awkward mana for Harbinger. Or I guess if they just pass, we'll place against Super. Let's see. They shock and Steam Vents. Teferi? Tamio. Tamio is fine. Maybe we should have forced the issue, but I kind of want to have Thunder Trap is good. We'll cast that. Hold up in Dispute Mana, like obvious Dispute Mana. We don't want another commandeer. Take another sink. Okay, and pass. We would love to be able to slam this Harbinger next turn. They attack for three. Maybe they just play the one ring. They play the one ring here. We're going to commandeer it. Oh, they don't do anything. Okay. 
They do have the planes. Falaji. All right, we'll bolt that in. Play Harbinger. That lands. And then we'll just pass. Dispute up. We have Dispute up and uh, two free spells here. Draw a card. And this makes it so that our lands are less painful. All right, they draw with a clue before. Make another clue. They only have access to white mana. They could for they could um solitude this to fairy. We'll dispute that. Counterspell. We could have just commandeered it, but then that would have happened. It would have been bad. Like Teferi's fine to have, but it's whatever. Thunder Trap. Alright, let's just play out Goblin Charbelcher and pass. I guess we'll get in, why not? So we have Commandeer as the only whatever. So we can commandeer these two if they play like the one ring or something. Not sure what they have for a resolved Charbelcher. The one ring. Commandeer. So we get the one ring and they scoop to that. Awesome. All right, so that was Mono Blue Belcher in Modern. Those first two matches were a little rough, misclicks and some greedy keeps, but then the last three matches, the deck pulled through and we were able to get those wins. I think this league demonstrates the pros and cons of this deck where it can feel like it has everything with all the free counters, having Char Belcher in hand and making sure to have all the counter spell back up before casting it. The games that we lost kind of feel like we floundered a little bit, just didn't draw the half of the deck that we needed. And that's definitely going to happen with this deck. I will say, though, it was really fun when we had a million free counter spells. It just felt broken. So this deck has definitely been putting up results. If you play it better than I did there, which isn't too hard, you'll definitely have better results just like on the modern challenges. I think it does take a lot of reps to know which hands to keep. I think that was the one thing we struggled with because all the lands were spells also, and you don't know if you want to mulligan to Charbelcher or just what we were doing were just mulliganing to functional hands. As for the sideboard, I think the sideboard's fine. It has the bounce, the counters, a little bit of everything. For mono blue, that's pretty much what you want. But that'll do it for me. Thanks so much for watching. We're almost at 2,000 subs now, so if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. It's a free way to help out the channel. And then also we're part of the MTGO Creator Program, so we have lots of play points to give away to all our subs. So if you want to see more content like this and you want to win some play points, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Peace.